I already have a line drawing and I also mark out the area where the highlight is supposed to be and then also where the core is supposed to be and then also the shadow and then the center line of the shadow so to start with I'm going to use a 10% marker also using a cardboard straight edge to shade leave to shade in leaving out the um, the highlight area and I'm going to use the 10% to about halfway between the highlight and the core then I'm going to switch to 20% Also press the marker firmly on the page okay. and I'm going to switch to 40% for the core then back to 30% and 20% to give it a really soft core to blend the core smoothly All right. and then the next thing I'm going to do is actually do the inside of the glass area this is going to be exactly the opposite so start with 10% exactly the opposite and so the highlight is supposed to be right here on the opposite end And then switch to 20%. Then 40 to put in the core. And then use the 20 to blend. And then I'm going to use 30 to start with <clears throat> to put in the, the rim. So this will also allow me to clean up the marker edges. So this is dark, <clears throat> gradate to a lighter value. cleans up the edges nicely now to put in the shadow so I'm going to use a 30% so the shadow goes from dark to light towards the middle so I'm using a 30% on the outside first A 
also here. So start with 30%. Accelerate the marker tip so then it becomes lighter. So I'm going a little bit faster with the tip. Slower on the outside so that it becomes a little bit darker. Okay. Slower on the outside, faster towards the middle. So next I'm going to use the 40% to add the material thickness on the bottom. This will also allow me to clean up the edges, the rough marker edges. Also this here is slightly darker, so I'm going to add just a little bit of darker value here. Also on the other side. I'm going to use fast stroke to darken the outside further. Also in this area, you see the shadow is a little bit darker in this area. Also slightly darker here. I'm going to go to 50% to darken this part of the shadow even more. Also darkening the material thickness on the bottom of the, of the glass. Back to 30%. I'm going to darken this part of it to give to leave out a little bit of highlight area. So the next thing I'm going to do is to use the 20% to darken this part a touch. Also blend all the gradation, all the, the marker smoothly. Okay. So next I'm going to put down some reflection patterns. on the glass cylinder. 
So the reflection pattern only require a few strokes. So this is 30%. This is the reflection pattern coming down. Also reflection pattern down this one part. So carry it all the way through. And I'm using 40% to add just a touch more reflection pattern. A little bit more reflection on the edges. Next I'm going to use the 50%. Once again, clean up the edges. Also darkening the rim. Darkening the rim, well, darkening the material thickness on the bottom. I can also use pencil to clean up the edges. Add a little bit of gradation with a pencil, using pencil. Adding a little bit of gradation with the pencil. Also clean up the edges with the pencil. Clean up the edges, also adding some reflection pattern. Reflection, this is part of reflection. So the next step is to use white paint to bring out the highlight right here. Highlight, also a little bit of highlight right here in this area, a little bit of highlight here, leading edge, also a little bit of highlight around the base. Highlight also in this area. A little highlight here, as well as here.
use say a quarter inch wide brush with a bridge and then to bring back some of the highlight right here Also, I want to add a little bit of highlight, some highlight right here in this area as well. Clean up the edges a touch. And using a number zero brush. Add some reflection. Also to straighten the brush and then the highlight area. Also adding some highlight here. Also clean up the rough edges. some highlight right in here this area also and also clean up the edges of the marker this is adding some reflection some reflection Just a touch more highlight right down the middle. Now I'm going to use the fifty. 60% markers to darken the outside edges just a touch edges and also darkening this part use a pencil to give it to adding just a touch of gradation 